Greetings fanboys and fangirls. Jared here with another video from Fanboys Forever. And today we're going to give a very unexpected update on the upcoming Masters of the Universe Origins Eternia playset. Now the cool thing about this playset is it's absolutely gigantic and something that I honestly didn't think we would ever get. However, here it is in all of its glory, but something quite unexpected has happened in the saga of this playset. But before we begin, remember, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to like the video as it really helps the channel grow. With all that out of the way, let's begin. So cutting right to the chase, on an app, Mattel has apparently accidentally listed Eternia early. As you can see down here at Mattel Creations, we have the Masters of the Universe Origins Eternia playset for $550. So much like uh, I and many others had speculated, that $500 price tag it was gonna be somewhere in there. I was really hoping that the playset would not exceed 500 because you instantly price out a lot of customers once you get above that level. But here we are, and that price is 550 for better or worse. Before we discuss the price though, you can see that we already have a description that's worth diving into. It says, join the battle for Eternia. Locked in an everlasting war, this Eternia playset is swarming with action-packed features and hidden surprises. The Grayskull Tower and the Viper Tower flank the Eternia Tower as the forces of good and evil wage war. March into combat and fund the playset for the ultimate centerpiece to your Motu collection. So here's some specs and just some interesting things that uh, some of which we weren't sure about and some of which we already knew. It says it's three feet by four feet for an epic display. Well, yep, certainly an epic display. Uh, you kind of need a whole room uh, to display this thing. It says working battle tram. We know that elevators, trap doors and more. And then it talks about how, yes, indeed, that King Grayskull figure, as some folks had said, would indeed be a pack in with the playset. Interesting that now, though, we know that he is actually an early bird. And this is something Mattel has used to great effect before. I think they did this with one of their WWE rings with a Macho Man figure, maybe, but I'm not uh, super knowledgeable on that. So you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Now, here's something interesting. 5,000 backers is what this is going to take uh, to get this thing off the ground. It says you get the Masters of the Universe Origins Attorney of Playset an epic display that will bring your Motu collection to life. And then down here, we have it clarified that indeed King Gray Skull is an early backer bonus. When the Eternia playset is funded, all orders received between 1012 and 1019, so we have between October the 12th and the 19th, will receive the King Gray Skull figure, a key to the history and mystery of Eternia. Then we just have a little thing at the bottom that just kind of wraps it up. Here they have a really good promotional photo of it with just a front shot where you can see pretty much the exact same thing that we saw at the con. And particularly, we get a little bit better look at the King Grayskull figure, which um, looks really, really nice. I have to say, this is a lovely, lovely rendition of King Grayskull. We have a better look at the tram system right here and the little car, which is funny because I always kind of thought that it looked more like the new adventures of He-Man stuff than the classic Motu. Still though, no matter what we choose to focus on when discussing this announcement, one thing is sure, there is no getting around just how steep that $550 price tag really is, especially considering that if you take a closer look at this particular listing, you'll see that there is a $50 shipping charge in the United States that's not included within that $550 price tag. So in actuality, we are looking at a $600 playset for Masters of the Universe Origins. I think 5,000 backers is a very reasonable thing to look for. Say for instance, the talk right now is all about the Hasbro Marvel Legends team and about how they have a seemingly unsuccessful, we'll have to see how it turns out and everything, but how they have a seemingly unsuccessful Kickstarter going on right now for the Engine of Vengeance, the Ghost Rider vehicle. For that, they've asked for a huge amount of backers, I think 9,000 backers, which is kind of ridiculous for something that just isn't all that um, storied in the continuity yet, and something that a lot of people, including myself, don't really have a lot of attachment to. But this, on the other hand, I do think that there are probably 5,000 fans 
who are interested in getting this thing. I mean, in particular, had the number been 5,000 for the Engines of Vengeance HasLab, uh, it would have funded. It would have already gotten there, even though it's quite high. In comparison to the other shady dealings, because I don't really think fans win either way with these prices, I definitely do see 200 more dollars of value here than I do the Engines of Vengeance. But honestly, to me, if I'm looking at this, I'm thinking that this feels, um, at least in my opinion, like a $400 value or a $450 value. And that's me reasoning in my head, okay, it would be like three Castle Grey Skulls with, um, with a track three times $100. And then you would have maybe, you could justify a hundred more dollars for the extra track and things and battery operated, I assume. A tram system and some things like that that wouldn't be present in a castle gray skull so that's where i get that number but also these are really 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 tall and uh, i think the main tower is quite a quite a good deal taller than castle gray skull so i know that could be skewed a little bit now that's not too far off on 550 from what i'm seeing as kind of the base value for this giant playset. but that 50 dollars shipping charge really concerns me uh, whereas with the HasLab, if you were a HasLab or Hasbro Pulse premium member, you could get free shipping and that would at least help a little bit with some of their HasLabs. This, there's, there's no Motu subscription model. And not that I'm asking for one because that might be a, that might be a whole other can of worms. But I'm just saying that there is no, apparently no way out of the $50 shipping ask, which to me is a, is a little much. Because once you get into that $600 area there, you lose a whole lot of people. I'm about as hardcore as you can go when it comes to Masters of the Universe collecting. Chances are, yeah, I'll probably sell some things, uh, find a way to go ahead and fund this thing to make sure I get the King Grayskull figure and all of that. For me, it was just always gonna happen. So the price is at least around what I expected it to be. But I think it would have been far better had 550 at least included the shipping. So that is a disappointment. Something else positive that I think I can add is the King Grayskull figure is very nice. At least this prototype that they're showing here, it looks really good. Uh, so that is something that we can at least celebrate as a win for this set. I will also say that it was mightily impressive to see all of the pictures and videos of this thing. And truly, it is quite substantial and maybe I didn't give it enough credit for being as large as it really is. But at the same time, I do think that $550 uh, is a little much. Now, do I hope that this funds? Absolutely, I hope it funds. I hope that there is enough popular support for Origins as a line, it would be an amazing accomplishment for any Masters toy line to be able to release the Eternia Towers. That would be an unbelievable feat and something that I honestly didn't think would ever be achieved within this line, but here we are. Well friends, that'll be it for me today as I share this unexpected early drop of this news. Uh, the only thing that we can do now is just wait and see how this goes. Hopefully this will be successful and hopefully enough people are able to partake in this to where we can finally have this giant Eternia playset. However, I think that there's still a valid argument to be made about price, even though I do think this is a better deal than something like the HasLab Engines of Vengeance uh, Kickstarter. I'm curious to hear your opinions down below, so let me know down below. Do you plan on picking this up or is it just way too expensive? All right, guys. As always, God bless you and yours. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on Fanboys Forever. Fanboy out.